Darren Goodman! Yeah. Final four display box. Oh, and oh. your two ranks. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Okay, open it. Four. <laughs> hey. Hey, come on. Two, three, four. I would say the identity of this team, I don't think that ever changes because our culture here that Coach Bluter has created has always remained the same and that's we work hard with integrity, no excuses. We always come in with a positive attitude. Everybody matters on our team. That's what happened last year, that's what happened five years ago, that's what happened 20 years ago. The people may change, but that happens every single year and so we're just focused on the day to day and focus on what you know Coach Bluter wants us to execute. My name is Jess Rickardson. I'm the Assistant Athletic Director for Ticketing and Premium Seating here in the Athletic Department. So we've sold out of season tickets for the upcoming season. It's gonna be a packed house for every game, not just conference, but all every single game here at Carver. To my knowledge, it hasn't happened for any women's sport here at Iowa. It's, it's something new for us. Season tickets were going so fast. I've had so many people come up to me and say, we tried, but they were sold out. And I was like, yeah, they went out in under an hour. Yeah, when I saw the season tickets sell out, one, I wasn't surprised just because of the year we had, but also the exciting style of basketball that we play. It's a very fun, exciting style. We love offense, we get up and down. You know, we play with a lot of emotion. I think people can also see the love that we have for one another when we play on the court. These girls, we're all each other's best friends. And I think that's what makes it so fun too and what attracts people to come into Carver Hawkeye Arena and really want to watch our team win a lot of basketball games. Not every school in the country gets that kind of support. And you know, it's gonna be really fun to run out to a sold out Carver Hawkeye Arena every home game. Really excited to participate and in, in, in see Kinnick Stadium full with women's basketball fans for the crossover at Kinnick. You know, that's one of the more rewarding parts of a job in ticketing, walking in and being able to see that many people and, and see the smiles on faces and kids and fans is, is, is what makes it all worth it. It's crazy, we were just talking in the locker room how, how it's already here, like we're in the middle of October already and you know what, I think it's like, it's going to be kind of a dream come true, it might be a little surreal for a second, but you know, today's our last prep for it and so we're ready for our first game tomorrow. Alright, this is our last uh, opportunity to get ready for our exhibition game, so let's make the most of it. Well, let's come out here and have fun today. Remember, we get to play for something bigger than ourselves, which is so cool. It's so amazing. I mean, I'm just really excited to be here, just to witness history. This team is an amazing team to watch. I've been keeping up ever since I left. So, And to be able to break the attendance record in the NCAA history is a really big feat, but I know that if anyone can do it, Hawkeye fans can. Never take any time for granted. I mean, it goes by so fast. It feels like just yesterday I was here wearing what you guys are wearing, playing, and um, this is honestly like the best four years of my life in terms of basketball. Together, one, two, three, together! together.
you know, everybody grows up playing the game outside. You play in your own backyard, isn't that, you know, how everybody starts? Or then you go to the park and you find people to play against. And so playing outside kind of goes back to the roots of basketball, in my opinion. The first thing I think of is playing on our hoop that we had in our driveway with my two brothers. We like begged my parents to like pour more concrete to make it a full square and then get a hoop in, in which they ended up doing. And I remember it spray painted down like a three point line and I would get ready for school as fast as possible so I could go out there and play with my brothers. And then I'd get in the car like all sweaty to go to school, which is looking back really gross. Me and the neighbor kids, you know, get into some fights out there, you know, get scrappy, whatever it is. And I think that's really where you learn to be good, you know, the wind messing up your shot. You know, October in Iowa it might be a little windy. So if I airball, I'm blaming the wind. <laughs> if I miss a free throw, I'm blaming the wind. <laughs>
Now Davis for three, left oh. wing, count it. <laughs> I think Caitlin Clark just almost knocked her down in celebration. Feeds down court, and a stonky wide open layup. And that will do it. The crossover at Kinnick. In the books. I think anybody in this building will remember this one for quite some time. You know what, when we came up with the idea of the crossover, I thought there was no place better than at the University of Iowa to do this. Because we had such an incredible fan base, I knew they'd get behind it. But it also just brings a great attention to this unbelievable university that I get to be a part of and that I've worked at for over 20 years. Anytime that we can bring a positive message about our university or Iowa City or our great state, um, I think we have to take advantage of those situations. And we're proud to be Hawkeyes. We're proud to be Iowans.